Uh, I'm JP Stacey. Uh, I'm a freelancer uh, with my own company, uh, and I've been working in Drupal for about, well, about 10 years. I'm here uh, because uh, Drupal Camp London has been consistently the, the best value for money of any of the camps or conferences that I've ever been to. I've been involved in Drupal from the days of five uh, and it was a conscious decision last year that I really wanted to get much more uh, involved in Drupal 8. Uh, and to that end, I've been doing a lot of work with things like the mentored sprints and a lot of work in the issue queues, uh, a lot of work on documentation, because um, documentation is, is, a, is a really good way of getting into this stuff because you're, you're learning by doing. Um, and as part of that, I've been writing a, a set of blog posts uh, on the Drupal 8 APIs, going through the APIs um, as they're currently documented and trying to do worked examples. Uh, and that's been really useful. I've had a lot of feedback from that from people who are actually, they're kind of following my worked examples and, and writing them out themselves and uh, they, they're spotting all the bugs, which is great, which is really good. Um, but uh, as I've been working more and more with Drupal 8, uh, I've, uh, I've come to realise what, what a step change it is, um, uh, both as a challenge, but also uh, the, the extra opportunities for a developer, um, just the, the cleaner way in which you can write code in, in Drupal 8, and the way it just seems to make a lot more sense, um, a lot more sense to people who aren't using Drupal. Uh, and, and that's really moved me more and more towards Drupal 8. Uh, and as of uh, a month or so ago, um, I started working with a client on a project which has got, uh, which is entirely Drupal 8, several Drupal 8 sites, um, all in one project, and one of those is going to be a Drupal Commerce site. So um, we're looking at Drupal 8 Commerce. The boffs um, are a, a great way of, of having conversations, uh, which um, aren't always the kind of conversations you can have in sessions. Uh, very specifically, uh, at every conference or camp I go to, uh, if there isn't a boff about freelancers and freelancing, uh, then I try and sneak one in. L luckily, there is one today. There's one later today. Um, but uh, freelancers are, just by nature, are, they tend to be happy working, in working alone. I mean, that's what pushes people towards freelancing. But at the same time, that can be quite lonely, and you don't feel like you've got a support network. Uh, but the... the the Drupal community, and I was saying earlier, it, it really is a community, uh, they've always got your back. Uh, and coming to something like this, you meet all these people that, that sometimes you only know their name online or whatever, or you've only spoken to them on, on online chat or something. Uh, to be able to meet them here and talk to them uh, and swap ideas, um, it's a great way of being both um, able to sort of detach as a freelancer and work independently, but then come together and share knowledge and share skills uh, and it's, it's the best of both worlds, really. That's what, that's what the informal tracks at a, at a Drupal camp provide. So.